Leifnor Gaming. Please subscribe, like and share our content. Easy now, easy. Lalith, be quiet. They kill each other. Yes. Throw a stone, distract them. Drop your weapon, all right? Let's talk this out. You first. Which one of them? That's your last arrow, and there are many more of us behind. What? What? Yuck. Yuck. Smeagol, run. Can't trust the elves. Please. Please let that face not be the last thing I see in this world. You're not dying. Smeagol, go. Lalith, be quiet. Bring him to me dead, or bring him to me wiggly. Stop it! 
Say we hang him. The ruins. We've made it.
the last one. Uh. How do I know? Keep looking. Stop! Yeah, now what? Talk! Bubbles! You gave her water. <laughs> no water! One. How do I know? Keep looking. This goes, eh?
where this goes, eh? <laughs> in a bowl. Should have gone with Mohawk and his troops. Handsome war, no beard, that was the order. No word about elves. What are we even here for? Some cursed elf thing for the war. The sorcerer wants it, Orbeg said. He already caught one cursed elf. Doesn't stop bragging about it. Huh? Orbeg's a fool. Let's try this way. You! Yeah! Bubbles! You gave her water. No water! He has a better view from up there.
What? It's not my fault. are orders. The Nazgul say... Please stop telling me things I already know. Some news for you, then. We're leaving. Lost too many men to these cursed woods. And we're not even looking for that ah! freak. The one we came here for. Of course. Leave, if you must. But there's one question that keeps haunting me, Prisca. Perhaps, before you go, you can help me with it. What? Where does the sun go up? What do I care? We are Uruks. We don't need the sun to show us the way. Oh. Ah. Ah. Anyone else feel the desire to leave? Everyone wants to share their opinion today. The candle, then. But where's Mel? And? Still nothing. She doesn't know some word, she says. Let's hoist the Lord's banner on every pinnacle. <laughs> that fate is on my side today. We knows. We knows how to open the gate. Go on then, help her. 
Open the gate, and you both live. You heard him. He'll let us live, so let's not test his patience. Don't trust him as soon as we open the gate. Shh. Find some water. Well? Give us time. Elf gates are fickle. Is this a friendly door? No. No, this one can be very unkind. What is he doing? There's a couple of stones missing on the gate. Seems like Gwendal hasn't left the castle in a while. Can you find them anywhere? source. Then what? How do we control it? As you always say, we must have faith. Won't need it for very long, though. You're about to kill us all. Starting with you, I hope. Found water! So? What about it? Don't talk. Don't talk. Just think. Remember the door to Gwendol's chambers. This one is quite similar. We need a secret word to open it. And here is where my wisdom ends. Gwendol must have changed it. We know as we found it. You did? How? Doesn't matter now. The tree where Mel and Riddlemaster met. The picture they carved into the bark. Dear. Of course. How did I not think of that? Let me try. Tell me what you see. The left one. That could be a tree. No deer. Try right. That doesn't look like anything. Let's keep trying then. What side should I change? Left. That's it. The deer. Just like the picture in the tree. Well, this sounds like we're getting somewhere. Are we done? Just one more little thing. Hurry up then. Did you put it out? This might be it. Let's try. Come over here. Eight of us weren't able to control the source and we spent years creating it. No surprise, given how long it takes you to open your own doors. Ready? Yes. Stay close to me and cover your eyes. Carandil. We summon the light of the Elders. Don't worry, you won't be blind forever. <laughs> Why did you come here? We never leave our friend alone, do we? No, not us. Friend? I wonder how your friend Deagle would feel about that word today.
There used to be a way up here. We didn't hurt Deagle, we swears. Smeagol is good now. How are your eyes? Better now. Well, let's put them to use. It was your bird who found me. Bird found us too. They forced me to open the breach for them. The sorcerer saw a lot more through that animal's eyes than just you or me. He knows about the source. We need to get there before he does. I must find Gwendol. must swear, swear to let us leave and not follow us ever. Very well. Or don't leave. Don't enter the dangerous source. Mel and I just hide until bad men are gone. I cannot abandon Gwendol now. Come on. There are a lot of stairs to climb. a long bridge now. Careful there, bridge is damaged. Shh. Listen. <sighs> Come here. <laughs> Smeagol doesn't like it here. You're right. this door. Gwendo? No riddle, master. These must be the Queen's chambers, if the smell doesn't deceive me. The Orcs was here. Yes. They took this castle once or twice, when the enemy still dwelt in Dol Guldur. My people cast them out, but Karas Mindon was lost and left to decay. Oaks, elves, one is like the other. Leave them all and hide. 
but out there his eye will find us. The elves can protect us from him. Did you say something? <laughs> he is close. He is close, I know it. And the source, where is it, my precious? In the Hall of Wind and Water, that's where we created the haze, molding the forces of the elements. I fear the river spring has long been soiled by the enemy. Mel can protect us from him, yes? She mustn't let them bring us back. She can make the river wash the orcs away. Riddlemaster is changed, perhaps. Doesn't like Mel with pale eyes. Won't help her like Smeagol does. Would you stop talking? I'm sorry. Wait here. Where are you going? <laughs> Other side is full of haze. And floating things. Floating? Floating like clouds. Is that another riddle? Where are you? The side is full of haze. And <laughs> floating. Floating like clouds. Is that another riddle? Where are you? It blinded me. <sighs> He's with us.
Elliot Adam Hirtien, Ar Fent Fent Eliatha, Iden Ad Leki Thank. Henian. So he will help us. Fine elves have met again, thanks to good Smeagol, but we must hurry now. The enemy has sent a sorcerer. I saw them through the haze, when they crossed. And I saw you. I knew I heard your voice. What does a sorcerer want? All I know is he must never touch the source. My strength is dwindling. I fear the well is lost to me now. It will need all I have left, and all of your strength too. Mel, this will not be easy. They are coming. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Let me guide you. We must enter the haze now. Don't let the shadows into your heart. What about your friend? Smeagol! Let me seal the door. This should give us some time. Come, walk beside me. The haze is spreading, my love. And all it touches is forever changed. It didn't change you much. You still wear my ring. I do. Smeagol was your name? Yes. Your friend doesn't say much. For once. Here we are. Don't get too close to the well. What's happening here? The entire hall is screaming. It's being torn apart. Above the well, the blazing orb fueled by wind and water. That is the source of the haze. What's our plan? Destroy the source. No. I fear the haze is all that holds this hall together. But if we could somehow reach the well, we could try to heal it. But the elf said, don't go near the well. There are two wind towers that feed the haze with air and music. See those openings left and right. If we manage to close off both towers, we might calm the haze just enough. It will not be easy, though. We promise to help the elves if they help us in return. I don't know. There's no time for doubts now. I can't go, you know that. I will stay at the source, calm it as long as I can. You two divide the tasks and close off the towers. So be it then. I will take the left tower. Your friend can take the right. Can he climb? Like a squirrel. Follow the song of the wind, Smeagol, until you reach the highest chamber. There is a large wind gate there. Close it to silence the song. To the top, close the wind gate. Watch your step. The haze has eaten away much of the towers. Are you all right? Yes, yes. said to heal the source. How dangerous. Elves know best what they're doing. Mel shouldn't stay with the unfriendly elf. Perhaps she could have from the woods. Mel shouldn't stay with the unfriendly elf. 
Perhaps she will leave with us. Trust the other elf, do we? Of course not. All elves are false. Not Mel. Mel saw that Smeagol is her friend. Oh, that elf doesn't see anything at all. <laughs> well done, my dear. Good, Smeagol. Yes, help the elves. And now they must let us go. Will Mel come with us, my precious? Not her, not anyone. Elves can keep their useless rings as long as we have ours. But Mel needs us to be her eyes. The blind one has her elf friend now. And Smeagol, he will be alone. Alone forever. Unless, unless he finds the precious. Never. Precious only ever made us lonely. And how long until the Dark Lord finds us, eh? How long after he finds our ring? We must find it. Find it before he does, and hide it forever. Never use it. And 
never, never kill for the precious ever again. We must go back. I never want it back. We hate it. We hate it. Mel will keep us safe now. Ah! If only, if only the nasty elf was gone. <sighs> I was listening to Gwendolyn's voice. What's, What's wrong? wrong? Mel shouldn't trust the Riddle Master. Don't, Don't be scared, scared of him. He's my friend. You can trust him. Good luck.
We must go back. We never want it back. We hate it. We hate it. Mel will keep us safe now. If only, if only the nasty elf was gone. Gwendol's still gone. He should have been back by now. Perhaps he fell. Yes, perhaps. Go look for him. Find the nice elf. Yes, at once. Hurry. I don't know how much longer I can take the source. Precious.
It hurt its leg. What's happened? I tried to take the stairs. There are no stairs. Exactly. Uh, I can't move it. How is Mel? The wind is still humming. The elf didn't shut the gate. No. Good thing you came. It looks like Mel was right to trust you. Let me help you get up there. At least that I can do. Watch. Do not trust your step, or you will end up like me. The elf will stay here. I will try to heal it, but it may take more time than we have. Good luck. Again, it's Smeagol who helps, not that other elf.
wish? Eh? What do we wish, my love? I wish that Gwendolyn was gone. Then we could be Mel's eyes again, and she would drive off wraiths and evil men who want to hurt us. Mel would look out for us. Look out for us? It doesn't have her eyes left, does it? Be quiet! Be quiet! Be quiet! Smeagol won't be alone anymore. No, never again! Smeagol won't ever be alone again, will he? No, never! I wish the Riddle Master was dead! Gimbal! Find them! Must hurry! Dead little orc, hmm? But this is our Riddle Master. <sighs> Time for our little game, my love. He would take Mel and go into the dangerous well with her. Smeagol won't kill him. No, of course not. Good Smeagol, just throw a little stone. Then Mel can be our friend forever. Friend? Friend? When has Smeagol ever been any good for his so-called friends? Smeagol always helps. Then what about the orc from our cell? That one always hated us anyway. Very well. One more. Even his little one betrayed Smeagol. Smeagol never did it any harm, did he? No, Smeagol gave it life. Oh, the bird. And how does he repay us? Flies right back to the Candleman. Nice friend. Smeagol is good now. Remember the frail man? Went up into the light all because of Smeagol. He wanted his death to count for something. And it didn't count for a thing. Doesn't matter. Precious can't protect us anymore. Be quiet. We hate it forever. Be quiet. Wait. Nimdach! Nimdach, Buboshi! There, oxes. Go. Warn Mel. I will follow as fast as I can. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Better. Get off! 
only one question left to answer. Where does the sun go up? Where does he linger? What does a storm illume with glistening rage? The night. First, they'll impale you, then carve you like a suckling pig and serve you as your own last meal. And when you're nothing more than a shivering heap of flesh, they will throw you. Don't disturb me. Deal with you. Ash Gula. Ash Gathai. Und very well. I'm calm now, see? I have no bolts left. It wasn't your fault. I was angry. Let us talk.
Gwendol. Happy ending, yes. Now time for promise keeping. We did not forget. You kept your word, we will keep ours. The elves will let us go? You are free. Leave if you must. Or come back with us. They will go to their king now. He must know what happened. The elves of Mirkwood can no longer hide. War is upon us. And no haze will protect us now. You may have awakened us just in time. Yes. Very lucky they met good Smeagol. But it's a long way home, and the kind elves must be tired. Perhaps they want to rest first. Let Smeagol keep one last watch. Sweet one. And under the mountains. And then into the Shire.
Isn't it nice? All alone. And when the precious is ours again, then they all has to be friendly, don't they, my precious? Very polite to good old Smeagol. We will make them, make them crawl! <sighs> Hey! <laughs> 